I started traveling when I was 19, and I decided that whatever I do in my life, I want travel to be part of it. But I wanted a purpose, and when I discovered filmmaking and photography, I thought, aha, this is something I can do for the rest of my life. Travel, photograph, document, and tell stories around the world. One of the best ways I've always worked is literally walk outside and explore and wander and try and get a sense of the mood on the street and just try and get lost in that moment. And, and suddenly, sort of a magical thing happens where you're relaxed, you're observant, you're in almost a meditative state, and that's when the good pictures come. It's all serendipitous, it's all chance encounters, it's not planned, you're just open and you're not trying to force the situation, you're just letting it kind of wash over you. Most of the portraits I make on the street are chance encounters. And perhaps the best example is Sharbat Gula, the Afghan girl who I photographed in 1984. She ended up on the cover of the National Geographic and immediately we got thousands of letters, people wanting to help her, uh, send her money. There were men who wanted to, to marry her. It, this was an incredible outpouring of uh, curiosity and interest for this young girl. Uh, 17 years later, we went back to find her uh, and put a name to the face, and we've been in touch with her ever since. I, I want my work to have purpose. I want it to contribute to the conversation, whether it's about Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria. I, I want my work to be a record of the world that we live in and to have a memory of the way we were at this point in time. It's been an incredible run, spending uh, my life traveling around to some of the most interesting places on the planet and photographing some of the most important events of our time. It's been an incredible life, and, and I just am so uh, thankful that I decided to take this particular journey because it's been so rewarding.